now and okay. burn them. He will go pick them up and drop it off, uh, I don't know which place, Manchester did he say? Manchester. It was like constantly like that. And so what has happened with this piece, if, if it's like a calling and I always hear these instruments and I know that I can't afford to carry all the musicians I find mm -hmm. in one place to the another city or to another country. But Allah has blessed me to be able to work out some of those details. But what I try to do, if I can form like a nucleus mm -hmm. of expression, then if wherever I would travel, I, I always invite the local artists mm -hmm. to come out so that it becomes like a, a new tonic mm -hmm. where everyone can express themselves through music, which is the highest language. True. And so that's been my concept in education and philosophy and all of that kind of thing. And so I created the foundation, Honorable Elijah Muhammad Educational Foundation, to do research and go into uh, many, many fields from science to the, the calendars to, mm -hmm. you know, the scriptures. It's quite a field, physics. Yeah. And so and out of it, I'm, I'm hoping that we can actually develop a new curriculum for a new age mm -hmm. yeah, to inspire our young people. That's a blessing. And so it's been rough. It's been very rough because you know how you start out and you're alone <laughs> and you're seeing all of this and you're trying to explain it to someone mm -hmm. and you can't really explain them too much. We're working with a similar concept. You have to do. You similar to do and so they're merging. Exactly. Uh, with Bilal Sundiata and certain other musicians from around the country. We formed a collective. Fantastic. Yes. It's like a collective. And, warm, and it's countless musicians. Exactly. And any, and any given festival we may show musicians come and then we may meditate on the principle of love oh, or peace okay. and then just go there with that energy yes and project yeah because all of us say, happens and all, all you have to do time. is continue because like what you said it's not the technique it's just the fact that all you have to do is continue to do this every day yes. and the spirit will move through you until you're so familiar with this device. Exactly. And then get familiar, the you mean, and then, then yeah. get more acquainted with myself. Become a confident. In using yeah. such an instrument. Yeah, like myself. You know? I do, I sit down and people say, you play symphonic music? I say, no, not this lifetime, but I probably had. Okay, if, like if you had that little constant beat where it, if I go off of just a little bit, keeping that beat, beat on, the, on the, da -da -da, and then this will make it easier. Okay. In this part. and I, I'll call him, ask him to bring, we have another copy, like this is a CD that we've been practicing, listening, to make sure I got all of the, the main keys and everything in it, because, because I'm not a trained musician, and I don't know how to read music, I, when the inspiration comes, I have to just keep practicing it, you know what I'm saying? Likewise, oh, that's how we do it. Okay, the that's same way. And then, sometimes, what'll happen, peculiarities, we could call it peculiarities, but different accents will come that maybe changes it just a little bit from the way it was before. Now, if I'm playing with a group, I have to be consistent. I can't all of a sudden, you know, go off I mean, unless we're going to have... And I, I understand know. it. This is exactly what we do. 
Uh, and there are. I, I, I know, but I'm just saying, when you work in. with digi yes. indigenous instruments, that is. The okay, Muy bien. How did you come to start playing the piano? How did I come to play the piano? <laughs> Since I was very young, <clears throat> I always was in resonance with mm -hmm. percussion instruments. I used to like to play the drums of different types. And I used to collect drums, mm. um, and I would listen a lot to the folk music from Africa, from um, Senegal to Ethiopia to Ivory Coast, you know, every, everywhere. And I would get the ethnic music from the libraries and listen to it, and then I would get ethnic music from the Middle East. And so it was like an attracting force mm -hmm. that I had, you know, to these melodic uh, sequencing, which was really outside of uh, what we would call the, the Western modes of right. music. But at the same time, I also heard the classical symphonic orchestra. I mm -hmm. could hear the strings, the cellos, the, the bassoons. Mm. I mean, it was just all in my head. Mm. And uh, so I started with percussion, and then whenever I would go near a piano, the piano would resonate for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I would always find myself going to wherever a home was, wherever I saw a piano. So in that, um, that uh, became, it evolved. Hmm. So each stage, and when I came into the nation, I used to do plays and other activities. And then I or, uh, organized the young people's kind of instruments, where we just made the instruments out of uh, whatever we could find, like, you know, clicking the board together, we would go to the hardware stores, very creative stuff. Mm. And we would make, um, take brooms and cut them up, mm -hmm. and or, or mops, you know, from the hardware, cut them up, and then we would put colored ribbons around. And I mean, these were all young people. I used to work with the young people all the time, and I, I have always had had a very free spirit. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say, you mm -hmm. know. And so t nothing could really trap me, or confine me, and I was always in that kind of creative mode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then it graduated to my uh, attempting to do a community service, really, with the music and bringing in young people to do pantomime dance um, in Phoenix, Arizona mm -hmm. in 1983. So we gave our first mini production to a local college and then we went to the ASU and we got a room in the ASU, Arizona State University, and we put on our show. But I always combine the presentation with an educational component. Um, history slides going back to the beginning of time, the cosmos, Egypt, uh, ancient histories, and showing the compatibility and the tie-in to all of the ancient civilizations around the world, True. including Mexico and the Indians and Central America, South America. So I never had any uh, feeling that we were not all inclusive. Mm -hmm. I know the difficulties in bringing us back together again, mm -hmm. but I was willing continuously and willing to make that sacrifice to bring the many fine minds from different cultures. I recently uh, worked with um, the finest musicians from China. I mean, I was like overwhelmed. I mean, I just met them and come into their circle of contact because I'm searching. So God has given me abundantly. And every time I say I need, I'm looking for, um, I have to say, it generally happens. It just happens like that. Just like my meeting your father. Mm -hmm. It just happened that way because we were looking for Maya. That's like when I heard you on the radio in Atlanta. <laughs> I said, I have to meet this woman. Oh. <laughs> I don't even remember what I said, but I know that even in speaking, the same kind of spirit. Mm -hmm. And because I'm basically to myself kind of shy in that sense, um, I mostly keep to myself, keep that energy so that it's not tampered with, you know what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say? So that it can fully evolve. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's such an explosive energy that I want to share it with others. True. You see? So then I'll go out and I'll force myself. I mean, no one knows that what I have to go through. If, just to play this piece, mm -hmm. I, I played for, we did a two hour show, but I didn't just play, play, play for two hours. Children did dance, we did theater, we had slides, we had videos. Mm -hmm. um, it was like a whole multimedia mm -hmm. kind of production. 
and the children were the main participants. They mm. did all the pantomime from age 